Hey, thanks for joining us. We have a follow up tonight to the horrific holiday nightmare. An apartment fire near 23rd Avenue in Dunlap that claimed the life of a four year old girl and injured three other members of her family. Just horrific. Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us live in Studio 12A with more from the neighbors and an update on that family. Rachel. Yeah, hey guys, just an awful story. As you've said, we're told by medical staff that the mother of the four year old little girl who lost her life has also taken a rough turn from those burns that she sustained from that fire. I just want to give condolences to the uh, friends and family members and uh, the loss and uh, everybody in the apartment complex. Ezra Steverson, who lives in the complex, couldn't believe the size of these flames. I left, I barely had clothes on, but you know, at the end of the day, um, it's all about saving our lives and material possessions can always be replaced. Building 7 scorched by the fire, displacing several families and taking the life of a toddler. When we heard about the death, it was like, oh man, we didn't think it was that serious. Meanwhile, local organizations stepped in to help out the other families in the complex who will also need support in the coming days. I want to say thank you to Red Cross. I want to say thank you to everybody that uh, gave us some assistance, the fire department as well. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but they say the fire started in the same room as the family's Christmas tree. A spokesperson from the Arizona Burn Center, Valley Wise, says other members of the family, a man and 10-year-old girl, could be released from the hospital soon. Guys, we'll send it back over to you. All right, Rachel, thank you.